Well, obviously, we're very, very proud of our, our team. Um, I thought we, um, I thought we played really hard. I thought we executed offensively pretty well. Uh, we made timely shots, and uh, I thought we made our free throws down a stretch, which was really, really critical for us. Defensively, I, I thought we did a pretty good job. I, I know they started out the second half. Pitt did and didn't make a couple shots, but I thought defensively we were pretty good all night. Had a pretty good effort. Um, you know, they, I think they scored 62 and they shot 41 percent. I think so. It's a pretty good defensive effort for us. So overall, I, I thought our seniors did a really nice job. These two guys, and I thought Norris Fox came off the bench and did a really nice job for us. And I thought Tom did a nice job for us. So I thought our seniors really came through, and and uh, and that's very very important. Start with some questions for the players. So we can let them go. We have microphones. <coughs> <Bill>. <coughs> Well, Sean, why don't you just talk about what it's like for Navy to A, win a game in this Veterans Classic that they've been hosting, and then to beat an ACC team. Obviously, that's quite an accomplishment. Matt just mentioned been since, what, 71, 1971? Can you talk about that, Sean? Uh, yes, sir, it's huge. And you know, this summer, we got a new strength and conditioning coach, and Coach Bay got after us. There were a lot of days where guys were struggling through workouts and then conditioning, and it was just a lot – so a win like this shows us, you know, the effort that we put in meant something and that we have the potential to be a very good team, but we have to stick to our staples like we did tonight. So it's a big win, but tomorrow we got to come right back in, go back to work, and get ready for Miami. Well, Bryce, I know that you were an all-defensive team player last year, and but Coach had mentioned that he thought you had the ability to be more of a scorer, and tonight you stepped up, led the team in scoring. Can you just is that was that a focus for you to try to up your scoring a little bit this season? Uh, no, honestly, not really. I mean, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to help the team, uh, whatever that may be. Um, hopefully, that's scoring. Hopefully, that's uh, continuing to be a good defender. Um, that's something I pride myself on, is just trying to guard the other players, uh, other team's best player. Um, so, if scoring comes with that, then it does. If not, then that's what it is. What it is. Yes, sir. It was incredible. Uh, we call this guy Bruce. So you didn't see Bryce Doolin tonight. You saw Bruce. And he was aggressive. He had a swagger about him. And we need guys to have that kind of mentality night in, night out. And if he can do that and be the defensive player he is, the sky's the limit for this team. And let me just add something, Bill. These two guys both, you know, I've been after them rebounding the ball. And um, they both really rebounded the ball well tonight. You know, I think Bryce had eight rebounds. and. And, um, you know, Sean had nine rebounds, and that's very, very important for our team. So those two guys had, uh, had a good night on, on, the, on, the, on the glass. You know, uh, you know being, from, uh, being from Western Pennsylvania, Sean, I was curious if a win like this carries any kind of extra meaning for you, you know, beating kind of the, being kind of the major school in that region, a school you probably grew up watching a little bit. Uh, yes, sir, it's definitely uh, exciting. And me and Ryan Luther have a little bit of a pass. So it was fun to you know, banter around with him a little bit. And, and a lot of my teammates from uh, Newcastle were texting me before the game, wishing me good luck. And just to see, see how far the program's come uh, since they started recruiting us way back when, it, this is just a tremendous win and very exciting, especially when you take down an opponent like Pitt. Yeah, it was uh, probably like some of those uh, Whippeal Championship games, right, with uh, Newcastle and Hampton. <laughs> Definitely, but uh, Ryan didn't dunk the ball with two hands like he did tonight back when we were in high school. So uh, it's definitely been fun. And just to see him and let him see uh, what I go through on a daily basis was also cool. Yeah. Anyone else for the players? No? Go ahead, Pat. No, no. Well, just uh, you all are a more veteran team than you've been in the past. <laughs> and did you feel – that helped you tonight when, you know, you built a lead, but they came back, they made a run like you knew you, they would, and you, you turned it back. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's been that's, – that's huge for us right now, knowing that we have a veteran team, knowing that we got a lot of seniors and juniors on the floor, um, and that's really helped. And we've been in that position before. We've been up and, and know what it feels like to have teams come back, make a run, and that's what basketball is. It's a game of runs. So they hit a couple big shots, and credit to them. But – um, we just kept coming together, knowing we're gonna stick to the plan. We're gonna stay together. Um, just not to, don't get rushed, you know, not to get tight, but just keep playing. And uh, luckily, we came up with the win. Um, with the th three schools coming into town, and you mentioning that you get a chance to show them what it is that you guys go through on a daily basis and stuff. Uh, what were some of the things that you kind of highlighted on when you got to spend time with these other teams about the things that were important to them 
important to you to show them that you guys kind of have to go through on a daily basis? What were some of the lessons you wanted to pass on to them? I think the biggest lesson was um, something that Mr. Clint Bruce said last night, just for the guys to understand that not only the midshipmen that are here, but there's thousands of people across the country who serve and that they're doing it because they believe those guys are worth it. And they've never met them before. They don't know who they are, but they put down their life for something bigger than themselves so that we can have the freedoms that we have every day. So I think that was the most important thing that the other teams could take away, understanding that you know this isn't just a, a show, that this is something much bigger and that we understand what we're doing each day. So. Guys in the morning. Ed, just what does a, a victory like this mean for, for you guys as, as a program to, to, to pick off a, a name brand type opponent? Well, it's important. I, you know, don't, I'm not going to downplay that. It's important. This is our fourth year, and we've played good teams. You play a Michigan State, a, a Florida, a Ohio State, you're playing high-caliber teams, and we're playing Pittsburgh. They're a high-caliber team. I just think we had a little more experience tonight at the end, um, and we made some plays. We made some shots. We made some free throws, and uh, I'm really, really proud of our kids for that. It's, it's, a, it's a win, you know, at the end of the day, it's a win, and then um, we have to move on to the next one. Lose, we got to move on tomorrow and start preparing for Miami on Sunday afternoon. But, um, and now we'll get Miami's attention. I think they're 13th in the country, and I'm sure we'll get their attention. We'll get, we'll get their best effort now on Sunday afternoon. And, and, uh, but it's, I'm, I'm, great. I'm so happy for our, for our players. They work really, really hard. Sean has been here. Um, you know, and Bryce, they're seniors, and Sean went to prep school and came here, and Bryce came directly in. But they're, they're you know, best of friends. Uh, our seniors are really close. And uh, this was their last go-around for the Veterans Classic. So it's, it, meant, it meant a lot to them. Coach, um, Coach Stallings mentioned that they just plain got out physical and out toughed by you guys tonight. I'm sure that probably doesn't surprise you, especially with what Sean said about the conditioning program. But speak to that a little bit, how, how you were impressed with that. Yeah, well, first of all, let me, let me just say I really want to thank Kevin for bringing his team here. Um, I have a great, a great amount of respect for him. I, I played him back when I was the head coach at East Tennessee State, and he was at Vanderbilt. And when we spoke about it in the spring, he, you know, he, he agreed to bring his team here. And not many, not many guys do that, but, but he knew he was going to have a younger squad. And... Um, and he did that. Um, our, our, our strength program here is, has improved. Uh, we hired a guy that, that worked with me and, and for me when I was at Penn State, and we're able to convince Brandon to, to come here, and he's made a world of difference for us. Um, but our kids are motivated. Our, our, our kids are motivated, and they worked very, very hard from May when he, when he arrived, and, uh, and they lifted yesterday. I mean, they just uh, continued to, to work. And uh, not only the physical part, but the mental part of it. Um, he pushes them, and uh, I think he tries to get them to places that they've never been before, physically and mentally. And that, that was a difference. And he was into them last five, six minutes of the game. I mean, he was very vocal. He was very, very into them. And, uh, and it, was a, it was a big help. Point Ed, how exactly do you pr uh, do you prepare an attempt to a scheme against a team where nine guys have never played a D one game before? You know, where you maybe don't have that much film, yeah. that much background on them. Yeah, we didn't have a whole lot of information on him. Be quite honest with you, we looked at old Vanderbilt stuff. I knew he would probably run the Michigan, you know, the the Kansas cut stuff, and so we prepared for that. Um, Kevin's always recruited skilled players, so we, I knew all the guys could really shoot. I knew the. The number zero kid was an outstanding junior college player. I knew the other kid, Carr, could really, really shoot. And so we tried to I mean, talk about those things. But quite frankly, we talked about for three days where it was, was us. We got to defend. We got to rebound. We got to take care of the ball. And, and, that's, and that's our mantra. Uh, we won the war in the glass tonight. I thought defensively we played pretty good. You know, we had too many turnovers. We had some foolish turnovers. Those two seniors had eight, four and four. They had half of them. But... We really focused on our, our squad because um, we didn't have a whole lot of information. But I knew they were going to be skilled guys, and uh, I knew the kid Zero was a really, really good player, and Luther's back. I mean, they, they have some pieces. So, you know, we didn't focus on them as much as we focused on ourselves. Okay. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.